Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to take a CPU profile locally and how to analyze it with Kathira UI. Okay, first I can load my media application. This is simple application. There's nothing happening on the UI. There's some, some work in the background as in the application. Okay, so there's a method uh, you can uh, open the browser console and you can take a CPU profile by typing Kathira.profileCPU. This profile CPU method is available on the latest version of the Kandira uh, smart package and I can give it the number of second I need to profile CPU I can optionally give the path where I need to save the CPU profile in this case I'll leave blank so let's start profiling but the problem is I need to run my application with this environment variable Kandira underscore profile underscore locally uh, in order to get a local CPU profile so let's do that I can copy this one I clear this and I open my application. So let's export this environment variable and let's try to run my application again. So I'm running my, this application in port 8000 and it's connecting to, to Kathira with uh, settings uh, via settings.json file. So my application is starting. Let's give them some time. Okay, all right. Now application is started again and it's successfully connected to to Kadira as well. Okay, now it's time to take my profile again. Okay, the profiling has been started. Check server logs. Okay, let's check server logs. You can see the status, what's happening right now. It started CP profiling for 10 seconds, right? After 10 seconds, this profile has been saved to this location on the temporary file, uh, temporary directory. Uh, you can optionally give the second argument to the this one and give it your custom location to save your CPU profile. Right, now we have taken CPU profile, now it's time to analyze it using Kadira. So I can open Kadira dashboard and click the local CPU profile and I can open the saved like in temporary folder and this one is the CPU profile. I'm opening that one and I click upload. And after that, you can see, you can analyze the CPU profile. You can see costly function, you can see costly entry point, and like that. I'll show you how to analyze the CPU profile in the next, in the, in the next video. Um, okay, that's it. This is how you can take a CPU profile and how to analyze that. You can even take a CPU profile locally from your browser as well, and you can upload it to the uh, Kadira using this one. Because this is a standard CPU profile format, uh, V8 CPU profile format, it's work on both uh, on the uh, client and server as well. Thank you.